hey guys welcome to my channel if you have not already make sure you subscribe so we're gonna do some long stilettos sculpted stilettos um, pink using sea tones acrylic so the first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm going to remove her cuticles that to me is one of the most important parts of preparation this cuticle bit is harmless it's painless it does not hurt at all it's a safety bit and I don't have to clip anyone's cuticles or accidentally nip anybody this bit gets the job done for me just as well and it doesn't hurt anybody ever so now I'm going to use my very fine sanding band and I'm just going to remove the shine from her natural nails because they're damaged you really don't want to put any pressure at all when you're using your e-file on damaged nails you really just want to remove that shine and uh, get that get that part over with So the primer I'm going to use today is Power Bonds by IBD. It is my personal favorite. There are other good ones like No Lift Nails, Young Nails, Protein Bond. Um, however, IBD is the least expensive out of the three of those, and it gets the job done just as well. So that's why it's my favorite primer. I've been using it, um, I want to say for about four years now. Three, three years, I'll say three years just to be safe. So uh, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go in and put a very thin layer of crystal clear acrylic on top of her natural nail. And this just provides a barrier between her um, natural nail and the nail enhancement and the colored acrylic. It causes the nails not to get stained. Um, it's a little bit of extra reinforcement because her nails are so brittle and fragile right now. But again, you want to do a very, very thin layer. Honestly, <laughs> the layer that I'm doing right now is, is too thick now that I'm looking back at the video. <laughs> so then I'm going to use forms on her. We are sculpting a stiletto set today. So I want to use Koopa Inks forms. I love these forms because they're so long. There's really nothing you cannot do with them. They are sticky. They come in a pack of about like 300. So you really don't run out um, very quickly unless all you do is forms and you have, you know, you know, over 30 new clients a week. <laughs> so I can imagine you using a lot of forms, but if you are the average nail tech like myself, you should not need to use uh, 300 forms that often. So I'm just gonna put them on these three fingers because once, if I put them on all of the fingers, once I get to the thumb, that form is not gonna be sticky anymore. Clients touch stuff, some of them have sweaty palms. Um, sometimes, you know, they may, you know scratch their head or something just forgetting that they have forms or their hands are being worked on at the moment and then it causes your forms to get messed up or unbalanced uneven and then you really just have to start over anyway so instead of wasting a form i just do a couple of nails at a time just kind of work my way through them as i go so i'm going to be using c tones acrylic as always to accomplish this set today and this is um these colors are from uh the pink collection obviously <laughs> so after i get that blend that i want i'm just going to encapsulate in glacier crystal clear just to protect my ombre, to add the bulk of the nail, to add the apex, all of that stuff that is important to the structure of a nail, I do that using my Glacier Crystal Clear. And once again, as always, I'm using C Tones Acrylic, so make sure you follow us on Instagram. We're also on Facebook, C Tones Acrylic. We just dropped a brush. We just dropped a website. We're super excited. So thank you to all of the supporters and the followers who have um, just been aiding me and 
helping me and supporting me and encouraging me on this journey. It's, it's definitely not easy being a supplier in this industry. Um, and then to go from a nail tech to being on the other side of the counter, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a much different experience, but um, I'm, I'm extremely grateful. It's going well. So go check out our new website, ctones.com. It's super easy. ctones.com. We have brand new collections up. We'll be dropping more and more collections. Our box of the month has dropped. Um, I believe we have put up 15 new colors and we are working on five more. We're trying to make it 20 before, <laughs> um, before the month is up. So make sure you check out our website um if you like the the way this acrylic lays just by watching the video that's great try some out we have um acrylic for as low as three dollars and fifty cents so there's there's no excuse <laughs> so now uh back to the nails <laughs> i am going to encapsulate some flowers and it's going to be really really subtle so I'm going to lay this wet bead down first and I'm going to go in and grab some flowers. I've already cut them up and all that good stuff. So you guys don't have to watch me do that on video. It's like, <laughs> it's super time, time consuming. So, um, you know, whenever, if, if you're not a nail tech, um, you know, if you have a nail tech, your nail tech more than likely is going to charge you. Um, a decent amount of money for encapsulation because it's, it's honestly not a quick process at all and it does take um, um, it does take a different set of skills it's not something you can just dive right into um, you kind of have to do it correctly and it's not easy to do it correctly so I'm just encapsulating with like some um, very sheer pink some clear and of course you got to add some glitter in there You want to make sure your forms are symmetrical, that they're tight, so that you don't have a lopsided, you know, crooked nail. And also, if you've noticed, my technique is consistent. And to me, that's um, something that's really important about forms that um, a lot of people don't teach um, when they're teaching about forms. It is very important to be consistent all 10 nails you do them using the same exact process i know that that's not always easy because some people have you know crooked fingers or damaged fingers damaged nail beds uh things of that sort i totally get it it's not always um um easy to do however you do want to make sure that you're you're following some type of consistency when doing your forms that way they come out um looking as uniform as possible So as you guys saw in the beginning, um, when I did that thin layer of crystal clear on her natural nails, I didn't have to do it to every nail, but I did. But you want to maintain consistency. Um, it's the same thing when you um, have seen me place her forms on, I immediately start building the tip and the apex area with glacier crystal. Um, that is something that I'm consistent about. It, it works for me. So you want to do whatever works for you and whatever makes you comfortable as a nail tech and whatever makes your client happy. Um, just, you know, try to try your best to be consistent. This nail world in general, you have to be, you know, consistent with your craft, consistent with your social media, um, consistent with your products, consistent with your services, all of those things. And I totally get that it's not easy because... 
life changes so much on the day to day and the nail world changes so much. But in order to gain that skill that um, most of us nail techs are aspiring to have, it takes consistent practice every single day. I tell my students 30 minutes a day. That's what I need from you. And it doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think about it, you know, the doctor's going to tell you to, to exercise for 30 minutes a day. It, it's enough for exercise. It's enough to keep your body healthy. It should be the same to keep your career health healthy. It should take 30 minutes a day. If you are not actively doing nails, you're not ready yet, that's fine. Spend 30 minutes a day on YouTube. Spend 30 minutes a day watching live videos, watching um, tutorials, scrolling, um, looking at different ideas, um, going through your workbook, those kinds of things. 30 minutes a day, y'all. Consistency is key, I promise. I don't think this is one of those um, careers where you just wake up one day and you're good at it. I think that it takes a lot of consistency, skill, patience, um, customer service, people skills, um, protecting your own energy because, you know, you're going to come come in contact with, you know, Lord have mercy. <laughs> so there's there's so much more that comes with the uh, territory of doing nails. You just got to have the drive. Got to want to do it every day for at least 30 minutes. <laughs> So um, back to the nails, for real, for real. I'm going to go in with my extra coarse sanding band. And as you can see, I'm not getting too close to her skin. In fact, I'm actually using my own fingers as a barrier between um, her skin and the sanding band. So you don't want to get close to um, your client's skin at all because it is a very, very harsh sanding band and it will rip through flesh very very easily so you want to make sure that you are extremely careful with it and if you do not have experience with the e-file i do not recommend this method for shaping i recommend um just using the hand file until you're comfortable with um with the e-file because it is a tool it's a piece of equipment um it is not much different than all of the other um, drills you see on TV in the tool section at the dentist's office. It, it's really not much of a, of a difference. Um, it's a tool. It's dangerous. So you really want to be careful with it. Be very mindful with it, no matter how much experience you have. Because, you know, you could be having a, a rough day. You might be a little bit more shaky than usual. Or you may have just met your client who is more shaky than usual. So you want to make sure that you have that... Um, uh, background that experience with the e-file because it's um yeah it can do some serious damage so all of this stuff of course can be done with the hand file i'm just using um the e-file just to speed the process up it does cut down a lot of timing for me especially with nails this length so I like to use the e-file method as much as possible until I see that I'm getting too close to the skin and then I break out my hand file and finish the rest like that. So I'm just shaping the stilettos to her natural nail. so funny because the summer is slowly but surely coming to an exit and I feel like this pink and these pinks um on this set are perfect summer nails but it's it's over but ctones.com just dropped um two autumn collections and a starter pack so pretty much every color in the rainbow um a bunch of glow colors all that good stuff so check out ctones.com so now i'm just going in with a medium sanding band now 
well I was <laughs> and I'm just straightening up the shape Okay, so this is the part where I go in with my medium sanding band. And I just complete any of the filing and blending that I needed to do at the top. Just to ensure a smooth surface. So this is the part where I seal her cuticles and get out any of that excess product, acrylic gunk, all that that's in the cuticle area that can possibly cause lifting in the future. What this bit does is it actually blends that area in so well that nothing really can get in there or lift it up. So that what you just saw is the cone bit, definitely a game changer. So I'm just gonna wipe her off with some alcohol. And of course, top coat. So I just went underneath just to give um, her nails that transparent glassy look obviously tinted pink rose colored glasses so of course this is my favorite part and I'm using um, Mia Secret brush on resin and you can get that off Amazon it's about $8 it's not that much um, you don't want to close it all the way, though, because if you do, then it will, um, you know, shut on you and you will have to spend another eight dollars. And to me, you know, <laughs> I hate to sound cheap, but eight dollars is a big deal for um, some glue. Personally, that's the way I feel. So if I could refrain from wasting glue and... Um, you know, prevent it from closing up on itself, drying up on itself, then that's what I do. And the way that I do that is I just try my absolute hardest not to close it. All the way at least. You want to close it a little bit.
So at this point, I'm just freestyling <laughs> some crystals. Um, she loves crystals and bling and just fun stuff everywhere. So I'm using um, a bunch of different colors, different shades of pink. And there goes the finished result. So don't forget to subscribe and check out ctones.com. Have a good one.